Good morning, fish heads. Here is your lineup for Wednesday, May the 2nd, 2019. Jen Cravasi here at Jekyll Bates, and we've got a few pieces to show you this morning for our first shop update of May in 2019. Here we go. Start off with a Japanese beetle. This is 2.5 rattling. And most, if not all, of this is going to be, well, with a couple exceptions, is, is available on the uh, website at www.jekyllbaits.com. JekyllBaits.com. Interesting color combination, but it does look like that really cool um, Japanese beetle that eats rose bushes. Just a bigger version of it. This is an old world gill. Really awesome pattern to spray. Very effective in the water. As is the beetle. Everything that's on the website's been proven. Has caught fish. Or it wouldn't be up there. Little blush orange on the belly. Little raw umber on the sides. Some Maui blue. And with uh, like an olive, sort of an olive green. It's a mix fading into that sand brown on the nose. Little bit of yellow right on the tip there, on the tail. And there's your old world. A copper crawl. Been doing a lot of wake baits. Uh, it's the season. Top water is getting ready to gear up and get into full swing. And these mice orders are, uh, are really starting to come in. And they're so much fun to paint. Love putting hair on the back of these things. And killer, killer, killer on the water. These things are great. Got a camouflage lipless. One of my signature patterns. Love doing these camos. Also a very effective pattern in the water. Got a couple of toxic crappies. Lots of fluorescent on this. Up into that flow green on the top. It's sort of a mixture of fluorescent green and candy apple green, the wicked color line on these holographic party cranks, these S's. Got some reptile eyes going on on that one. And then on the other one, we've got the, uh, the mutant eyes, almost like the zombie eyes. So a couple of those going out this morning. This is that uh, wildfire shad pattern. Also popular this time of year, especially with the rainfall that most of the country has been completely inundated by. Um, these have a tendency to be real effective in stained up water. I've got a little bit of the gill plate exposed. You can see some shading on that. And then your typical fire pattern colors, which is the fluorescent green, fluorescent yellow, and on this, I went a little bit lighter. It's a fluorescent sunburst, which there you can get a full line of just about every shade you want. You can mix it down, um, but I have, a, I have a problem with fluorescence and whites. It has the tendency to dull the fluorescent look to it. So I just, I usually get those pre-bottled. I don't do a lot of mixing with that. This is that breeding crappie. Also coming into play this time of year. Key, key, key for spawn and post-spawn. So in the south, we're moving, almost transitioning into the post-spawn area of the, of the spring. And uh, in the north, you guys are probably getting ready to go full spawn if you're not there already. I think some of the most northern regions of our country spawn uh, as late as June, but I would say probably two-thirds of the country are, are under spawn now or just finishing up. This is that molten lava. Super cool pattern. I like this pattern a lot, and I like the way the eyes came out. It almost looks like it's a peeled away eye with that backdrop on it. You know, I like how, how that turned out on this one. Molten Lava. Now we go into our twitches. This is a Whitney Point. 
and these have just come off clear coat. Folks, it has been so humid, so humid, and I control it as best I can. I run heaters to dry it out. I run a dehumidifier. I run AC when it's warm enough with a dehumidifier. The ventilation system runs, and this is this is the, the Delta South, y'all, so it's going to get humid, which means that I, I like to let it cure a little bit longer, and I think even if I were running UV, I would probably let it cure a little bit longer than normal. Um, but some of the delays that you guys are getting is because of all the humidity we've had over the past three weeks. Just slows down the curing process with the KBS that I use. I want to make sure you guys are getting the best product possible. So uh, I will leave those on the on the clear coat rack a little bit longer than you would normally say. Um, usually it's I can ship them within 24 to 48 hours. I've been given it a minimum of 36 hours. So it slowed me down a little bit but not too bad. So I appreciate everybody's patience getting through this spring rush. It has been crazy, crazy. Thank you guys so much for the orders. Thank you guys so much for the patronage and, and hanging out with Jekyll Bates. I really love creating that confidence bait for you guys. This is the Imperial Crawl. This, I tell you what, guys, this is one of the best, 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 best river crawl patterns I've ever done. You want to talk about big browns and rainbows and bass. The smallmouth love it. Um, it's bright enough, especially when you throw it on a holographic or foiled bait, that it's really going to pop in stained water. Um, these things. Now, this this particular one is a suspending, uh, and I know I've said this before, but there's only a couple of places where you can get these that are the replicas uh, that have a variety. So most of the time, like you, if you buy these off of Amazon, you really have to pay attention to what you're buying because these particular blanks are sinking and some sink faster than others. Um, but I've, I've found that through Schultz, you can get the variety. You can get the suspending, floating, and this one's a suspending, and you can also get the sinking. Um, and it's not necessarily a slow sink either. So really pay attention to what you're getting or you and or your client might end up not liking what you get. So that's the imperial crawl and then this is this is kind of cool it's a it's a five piece order that i'm completely finished with now and the customer really challenged me to think out of the box so this is the nature he's like throw a little nature pattern on there for me uh, like a mama nature or nature so what i did was the tree um basically going into the water you got some waves coming up and i, I did like three layers of blue on that with some white caps on that uh, on that curl coming in, that surf swell. I didn't put a surfer in this, sorry. Um, I almost thought about it. I was like, I could have somebody getting barreled, but nah. The Big Dipper is on the back, and I think somebody asked about that. I wanna say somebody asked about that yesterday, because I threw it up on Facebook, and they were like, all you need is that Big Dipper cast net. Well, I said it's on there, so I've got that. And then I also have Orion's belt. So, yeah, we did some cool stuff with this. This this turned out really good. I enjoyed how it turned out. But it's got all the elements. It's got fire and uh, water and earth and sky. So just a, a neat little nature pattern represented by colors. And uh, basically, it's a hand-cut stencil. I just cut that out and uh, sprayed white first and then uh, really lightly sprayed in the shading on that. So this is on one of those dinger 100 sps these are great baits by the way fantastic love them and that is all the news that's fit to print every day today for the rest of the week um i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and yes oh you know what before we go thank you guys so much so much for all the well wishes i know i've been kind of griping about my tooth um but i am starting to feel better Life is good. Went to the dentist. Um, everybody's like, go to the dentist. I know. I know. I just hate doing it. I, I don't think that's anybody's favorite place to go. So, but thank you for the well wishes. I really appreciate that. You guys really poured in those well wishes. So, thanks. Uh, it means a lot more than you know. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. See you on the water. Happy casting.